Actually, to a dilemma that's gone unresolved for more than a decade now, the city is still trying to determine who is going to pay for repairs to the main library downtown. Since the library opened back in 2005, the building has had problems with leaks and it's going to cost the city close to $1.8 million to make repairs. The city is suing contractors to get them to pick up the tab. As Channel 4's Jim Pickett shows us, both sides are trying to work out a deal. When the main library opened in 2005, it was state-of-the-art, but it didn't take long for problems to pop up. The windows leaked and water was ruining some of the books. Let me show you a report I did in 2015 when the city hired another company to make repairs because the original builders would not. I can show you what they're doing here at the main library. If you look here, you can see the cinder blocks have been exposed around the windows. They've been actually drilling out around there, making repairs because that's been the problem since this library was first built 10 years ago. Water has been getting inside. So these repairs are very costly and it's something the city is paying for right now, but they hope to be able to make the contractor pay for it, but that's gonna end up in court. Now let me show you what it looks like today. Obviously the scaffolding is done. They say they've repaired all the windows and the faulty concrete. In fact, they say it's no longer leaking. It held up during the hurricane, but now they're trying to figure out how to pay for this. And that's what's happening behind these closed doors. They won't let us or our cameras into the mediation process. In the lawsuit, it says the companies refused to remedy the problem and pay for the repairs. So the city was forced to hire yet another contractor to correct the deficient and defective work. And that bill is nearly $1.8 million. The mediation could go on for several days, and then it won't be made public until the city council agrees on a settlement. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.